विकास हेलो या विकास मेरे को स्क्रीन शेयरिंग लाइट दे दी आपने हेलो पार्टिसिपेंट्स गुड इवनिंग we'll start today's workshop in another 4 5 minutes we'll wait for more people to join in so as they join in so we'll start so we already have our guest speaker today mr rajesh arya he is here with us so we're just waiting for more people to join in so once everybody is in so we'll start today's workshop uh, would be about studying abroad so it is uh, more importantly about usa and canada so we'll be talking about the opportunities that lie ahead how one can avail these opportunities how one can use uh, these opportunities and fulfill his dreams har aadmi acha padhna chahta hai life mein acha karna chahta hai uske liye wo achhi se achhi opportunities avail karna chahta hai hum ye dekhte hain ki जो बच्चे बड़ी सिटीज में रहते हैं या बड़े स्कूल्स में हैं सो दे गेट अ लॉट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज बट एज वी गो डाउन टू द स्मॉलर सिटीज और स्मॉलर टाउन बहुत सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज जो हैं वो बच्चों को नहीं मिल पाती हैं सो हमारा स्नैप की तरफ स्नैप वर्क की तरफ से ये एफर्ट है कि हम ये जो सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं पॉसिबिलिटीज हैं उन सब बच्चों तक लेकर आए ताकि वो भी इसका फायदा उठा सके और अपने ड्रीम्स को फुलफिल कर सके So, आज हमारे साथ मिस्टर राजेश आर्य इज फ्रॉम काउंसिल ऑफ अमेरिकन एजुकेशन सो ये पिछले उनतीस साल से ही हैज बिन हेल्पिंग चिल्ड्रन गो अब्रॉड और आज तक ये बाईस हजार बच्चों की हेल्प कर चुके हैं दे आर बेस्ड इन डेली एंड दे हैव ए गुड नेम ए गुड रेपुटेशन इन द बिजनेस सो वी हैव स्टिल समाइम बिफोर आई इन्वाइट हेम इन हमने अभी कुछ देर पहले जैसे हमने वर्कशॉप्स की सीरीज शुरू करी है इस सीरीज में हमारे जो पहले तीन वर्कशॉप हुए हैं वो हमने करा है एनडीए में जो बच्चे जाना चाहते हैं उनकी हेल्प करने के लिए ब्रिगेडियर विजय सागर ही हैड कम और उन्होंने तीन वर्कशॉप लिए थे हम कोशिश यही कर रहे हैं जो बच्चे एनडीए में जाना चाहें वो उनके साथ लगकर वहां से उनकी हेल्प हो पाए और वो जा पाए सिमिलरली जो बच्चे बाहर पढ़ना चाहते हैं उनके लिए आज का वर्कशॉप है Somebody is there. Hello. Yes, okay. sir. Yeah, you guys have some questions. So what we'll do is we'll leave, keep the questions for the end or in between. Uh, and sir. yeah, please. Sir, free classes. Uh, this workshop is free but then what happens is they guide you that how do you go about it then they will also let you know that what are the scholarships which are available uh, in out, out universities abroad especially us and canada and they also help you get those uh, uh, scholarships okay so abhi uh, i i what i would do is mai rajesh ji ko i would uh, request him to come take over He will then take you through the whole process. वो आपको सारा समझाएंगे कहाँ कहाँ opportunities हैं उनको कैसे avail किया जा सकता है क्या चाहिए होता है So he is the one who is the master of this. So now I request Mr. Rajesh Arya to please come. Okay. Thank you, Vikas. Um, I appreciate this opportunity being given to me to address such a wide uh, range of students who would like to study uh, abroad. i'm presuming since they've joined this uh, this workshop there is a good amount of interest in their mind to explore the possibility of studying either in the us or canada or maybe any other country they are free to choose the country of their choice based on uh, several parameters like their field of study their location preference their budget 
their immigration requirements. Again, students, I am Rajesh Arya from the Council for American Education. Uh, I'm also from a very small town myself in the state of Jharkhand. So like you, when, growing, when I was growing up, I had lots of dreams to achieve great things in life. And I'm very thankful to God that he has given me this opportunity to study abroad myself. And then today I want to share my experiences, my expertise with all of you to let you know and to motivate you that this is a dream that can definitely come true if you work dedicatedly, if you are really focused and committed to achieving your, your dreams. Now, it's very important, I'm presuming that students who are participating in this workshop are either from grade 11 or grade 12. The, the earlier you start with your whole applications, etc., it will be very, very helpful. But the first thing you need to make to do is, is to make up your mind that yes, that you do want to explore the possibility of studying outside of India. It is extremely important that your parents are also supportive of this goal. Now, one of the factors that really keeps students away from exploring the possibility of studying abroad is the high cost of studying. Now, I would like to mention here, just like you, money was a big constraint even for me when I was growing up. So when I went to the US to study, I went on a 100% tuition scholarship. Needless to mention, that tuition scholarship was granted because my grades were good, my test scores were good. And I'm also very confident that a lot of you present in this workshop are extremely bright and would not mind working hard to work on their grades and on tests like SAT and ACT to get a fantastic score, leading to a fabulous amount of scholarship. Now, in the past, and even this year, our students who have tried or who wanted to go abroad have worked really hard and have been able to get 100% tuition waiver. So students, I definitely encourage you not to give up your dreams for the lack of financial capabilities. Yes, you need to keep in mind that 100% tuition waiver will be there and could be there depending upon what you get in your test scores in your, your grades 10, grades 11. But very importantly, how well you do in the SAT exam. However, students will have to bear the expenses of staying, accommodation, living, eating, etc. And that comes out to be almost about 7 to 10 lakhs per year. The tuition waivers are possible. I want you to keep that, that dream alive. I want you to continue working hard. And now we start with the, with the presentation of studying in the, the year. So students, please have a look at your screen. Unlocking higher education opportunities in USA and Canada. Now, I started this company almost about 30 years ago in 1991 when I returned from the US after completing my studies there. In the last 29, 30 years, we have sent more than 22,000 kids to the US. But 22,000 lives and careers have been shaped by us. We would be delighted to shape your career also, as well as provide you with a fabulous guidance so that you can achieve your goals. In the current scenario, as you can see, the COVID-19 pandemic has thrown everything out of gear. Students who are planning to go to the US this year have not been able to go. And that includes my own son, who is planning, who, who is scheduled to go in October, but obviously will not. Be right? Can everybody hear me? I'm presuming the voice is okay, right? So the current scenario is, that there is a COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. However, this yeah. should not deter you from pursuing your studies abroad. Please do not panic. That's something you need to keep in mind. 
that you need not panic. A lot of parents are panicking that there is no vaccine, we how do we send students abroad, or even how do we send students from one state to the other state or from one city to the other city in India. Panic really does not help. So first thing you need to do is to keep your cool and do not panic and continue with life the way you guys were proceeding even before the pandemic. I'm sure vaccines will come out, some kind of, uh, you know, kuch na kuch ilaj nikali aega aage jake, and that way you will be able to continue with your plans. Now remember, in the past too, this is definitely a very unique situation we are in. However, if you look at 1918, there was a great influence. In 1929, there was a great depression. After that, there was a world war, a terrorist attack, a global financial crisis. In all the cases, the U.S. has really come out very strong. And even after this pandemic is over, India ho ya US ho ya rest of the world ho, it will come out very, very strong. It will provide you great opportunities. Fortunately for you, you guys are either in 11th or 12th. You, some of you might start their studies next year and some of you will start the studies a couple of years later. So that gives you ample time. And you are from which district of Jharkhand, sir? Right? And then you can continue with your plans. Now, America Janet will be an exam. SAT or ACT. Yes, you have to take a test. Some universities have made this test optional. But that doesn't mean that you will not give your test. Optional means that you have a choice that you want to give or not. But invariably, most students actually do take the test, even if it is optional. Some universities have tested in America, and some have tested in blind. Test blind means that we don't have a SAT or ACT score. We don't have a SAT or ACT score. If you submit it, we are not going to have a look at it. Whereas the test optional is, if you want to leave, I have other kind. Okay, so it's okay with that, right? So these are the two policies being implemented by the universities in the US. So my recommendation is, please look at your computer screen and you will see several places the test is optional and in several places the test blind policy is being implemented by the universities, right? Now, when you go to America or Canada, or for that matter, in any country, we don't know where to go. There are 4,000 universities and colleges in America. In Canada, there are 200 universities and colleges in Canada. But from those 200 or 400, which university do you want to go? ये ज़्यादातर बच्चों को नहीं पता होता। ज़्यादातर बच्चे कहते हैं सर हमें हार्वर्ड जाना है, हमें एमआईटी जाना है, हमें स्टैनफोर्ड जाना है, और सब ये कहते हैं सर टॉप रैंक में जाना है, और हमें बेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी में जाना है। माय सजेशन टू देम ऑलवेज इस देर इस नो बेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी, इट्स � तो शायद आपके सब के जवाब अलग-अलग होंगे। कोई मर्सिडीज़ बोलेगा, कोई बीएमडब्ल्यू बोलेगा, कोई लैम्बोर्गिनी बोलेगा, कोई ऑडी बोलेगा। इसी तरीके से यूनिवर्सिटीज़ में भी अगर आप किसी से पूछें कि बेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी कौन सी है, नोबडी कैन गिव यू अ सॉलिड आंसर और द राइट आंसर और द मोस्ट even for your real brother. And that is the best decide on your grades, on your field of study, on your budget. So there are so many different variables or different factors that actually decide which university is the best for you. So remember, it's not the best university in absolute terms, it's the best fit for you. बहुत सारे बच्चे इन रैंकिंग्स को बड़े ध्यान से देखते हैं ना ऑब्सेशन विद रैंकिंग्स। बट प्लीज बेर इन माइंड डिफरेंट मैगज़ीन्स, डिफरेंट न्यूज़पेपर, डिफरेंट पब्लिकेशंस, 
different digital platform, they all have different methodology for rankings. US News ka tariqa alag hai, Times Higher Education ka alag hai, QS World Ranking ka alag hai, India ki koi magazine alag rank karegi, or China ki koi ranking alag rank karegi, right? However, rank is not the only way to look at the universities. Sabse zada important hota hai, ki us university mein research kaisi hai, us university mein scholarship kaisi hai, wo kahi bohat zada thandi jaga pe to nahi hai, मेरे एडमिशन के चांस क्या है लेट्स से आपसे आपने आपको किसी ने बोला कि MIT इज द बेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी बट अगर आपके पास ग्रेड्स नहीं है MIT में घुसने के लिए या अगर आपके पास 60 टू 70 लाख पर ईयर का बजट नहीं है तो MIT इज नो गुड फॉर यू सो प्लीज बियर इन माइंड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि रैंकिंग्स को जरूर देखें बट डू नॉट बी ऑब्सेस्ड विद रैंकिंग्स सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट स्क्रीन आज की प्रेजेंटेशन का टाइप्स ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर स्कॉलरशिप्स स्कॉलरशिप्स मींस द यूनिवर्सिटी विल पार्शियली और फुली फंड योर स्टडीज एट द यूनिवर्सिटी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देयर इज अ मेरिट बेस्ड स्कॉलरशिप मेरिट बेस्ड मींस कि आपने 9th में क्या किया 10th में क्या किया 11th में क्या किया और 12th के मिड ईयर में क्या किया प्लस आपने Test like SAT or ACT में कैसा परफॉर्म किया? Very important for you कि आप बहुत ही अच्छे तरीके से अपना 11th भी करें। इस समय बहुत सारे बच्चे शायद जो इस वर्कशॉप में हैं, they are probably in 11th and some of you might be in 12th. The students who are in 11th, if you want to study abroad, whichever country it might be, please bear in mind that class 11th results will have a lot of importance and a lot of weightage. So 11th will not be a paid vacation. I'm sure this audience will be a lot of kids who are probably in India. Who are probably in India. Who are in India. Who are in India. Who are in India. Who are in India. Or in India. In some university on the basis of their, their marks. For them, maybe class 11 is not so important. But whatever the kids want to go out, Unke liye class 11th is super important because universities outside of India, they're going to look at your class 11th results. So merit ke liye 9th, 10th, 11th, mid-year 12th, and your SAT and ECT. Then there's a need-based scholarship. Need-based scholarship in India mein bohat kam logon ko di jati hai kyunki wo family income dekhte hai, aapki mami ki kya income hai, father ki kya income hai, on that basis aapke कितने सिब्लिंग्स हैं जो स्कूल में पढ़ रहे हैं कॉलेज में पढ़ रहे हैं आपकी क्या ऊपर कोई हाउसिंग लोन है कोई ऑटोमोबाइल लोन है दे ऑल लुक एट इट एंड दे देन अवॉल्व नीड बेस्ड बट नीड बेस्ड जनरली जो एड होती है वो 30 टू 50 परसेंट होती है देन देयर इज अ नीड ब्लाइंड एड विद यूनिवर्सिटीज आपको बगैर नीड के भी सिर्फ मेरिट और नीड के कंबाइन करके नीड ब्लाइंड में देते हैं उसमें बहुत कम यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं हार्वर्ड है प्रिंसटन है एमआईटी है येल है स्टैनफोर्ड है दैट मीन अगर इन यूनिवर्सिटीज ने आपको एडमिट कर लिया और आप उनको जा नहीं पा रहे उनके पास बिकॉज आपके पास पैसे नहीं है तो ये लोग आपको हंड्रेड परसेंट ट्यूशन वेवर देंगे बट प्लीज बेयर इन माइंड आई नो दैट मेक्स यू वेरी हैप्पी कि हंड्रेड परसेंट ट्यूशन वेवर देंगे बट उसके लिए कॉम्पिटिशन is very very intense so you have to be the very best student in entire india and perhaps entire world to get this kind of need blind scholarship last year from our office almost about six million dollars worth of scholarship were received by students bohat sorry students and jinko 100 percent tuition waiver mila at least this should make you very happy ये एक पॉसिबिलिटी है और हर साल बच्चों को मिलती है बहुत बच्चे 100 परसेंट स्कॉलरशिप पे दे डू गो टू द यूएस सो माय रेकमेंडेशन इज कीप योर ड्रीम्स अलाइव कीप वर्किंग हार्ड बी फोकस एंड देन स्कॉलरशिप कैन बी अवेल इफ यू गेट द गुड ग्रेड एंड द गुड टेस्ट स्कोर्स नाउ कैनेडा एंड यूएसए का जो पूरा प्रोसेस है ये एक टाइम है ये प्रोसेस जनरली बच्चों को क्लास इलेवेंथ में आते ही शुरू कर देना चाहिए। I know a lot of students in this 
the workshop today are in 11th, and you are halfway through the 11th. Unfortunately, COVID-19 ki wajah se schools haven't opened. You really haven't gone to schools. You really don't know who your teachers mm -hmm. are. You have never met them in person. So, in the 11th, you have to build a profile. Build karna. Profile ka hota hai ki you need to participate in co curriculars and extracurricular activities along with your excellence in academics. Remember, US universities sit up for high ke basis pe aapko admission. They want to see that you have to do in the class. Ke bahar kya kya. If you play guitar, if you play guitar, then what level do you play? If you play swimming, if you play swimming champion, then what level do you play? If you play school champion, state champion, national champion, international champion. Similarly, you can work in theatre. You have acting skills. So what level of theatre have you participated in? So that is called a profile. In this way, test preparation is very important. That means, as I told you before, you have to do very, very well in your SAT ka exam and ACT ka exam, which I will cover a little later in the presentation. And then comes your application process. So U.S. universities will evaluate you holistically. That means, aapke pure profile ko dekha jayega, who you are as a person, which is very different from Indian universities like IIT, jahan pe ki aapko entrance exam ke basis ke. आपने क्या इन्वेंशन की आपके क्या ग्रेड्स थे क्या आप थिएटर में बहुत अच्छे हैं वो ये सारी चीजें नहीं देखेंगे आईआईटी वाले वेरस एमआईटी वाले जो कि वर्ल्ड में टॉप फाइव में या टॉप थ्री में वो ये सारी चीजें देखेंगे एंड देन दे विल डिसाइड वेदर टू एडमिट यू एंड वेदर टू ग्रांट यू स्कॉलरशिप ऑन सो हाउ इज अ गुड प्रोफाइल मेड इट्स मेड थ्रू अ कंसिस्टेंट एकेडेमिक परफॉर्मेंस सिर्फ आपने टेंथ में बढ़िया कर लिया उससे काम नहीं चलेगा आपके नाइन्थ के क्या थे ग्रेड्स आपके इलेवेंथ के ग्रेड्स क्या थे आपके ट्वेल्थ के मिड ईयर में क्या है ट्वेल्थ के फाइनल में क्या है तो ये सारी चीजें देखी जाएंगी प्लस जब आप इलेवेंथ में हैं या ट्वेल्थ में हैं क्या आपने कोई इंटर्नशिप की क्या आपने कोई प्रोजेक्ट बनाया किसी एक्टिविटीज में आपने पार्ट लिया क्या आप स्टडी अब्रॉड के लिए गए या स्टूडेंट एक्सचेंज के लिए गए क्या आप नासा ट्रिप में गए या सो मेनी थिंग्स दे आर गोइंग टू लुक एट टू इवैल्यूएट वेदर योर्स इज अ गुड प्रोफाइल और नॉट एंड वेदर डज इट मीट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटीज रिमेंबर अ जैक ऑफ ऑल ट्रेड्स इज मास्टर ऑफ नन तो ये ध्यान रखिए कि व्हेन यू पार्टिसिपेट इन एक्सट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटी इट्स नॉट how many extracurricular activities did you pursue, but how well did you pursue? Both sare bachche, they come to us, sir, I cricket bhi khela, I football bhi khela, I swimming bhi ki, I theater mein bhi part liya, I gymnastics bhi ki, I chess bhi khela, right? I MU and Model United Nations bhi kiya, right? Please bear in mind, they are not looking that how many activities have you participated in. If you have participated in only in two or three, Yes, they are very happy provided you have really excelled in them. If you guitar, then you have given your Trinity level ke exam. And at which level did you go? There are 8 levels. So, do you have to go to 6th, 7th, 8th level? Or after the 1st or 2nd level, you have left your guitar. So, please bear in mind, you have to strive for excellence and not just participate in various activities. आपको लीडरशिप पोजीशन चाहिए स्कूल में अगर आप हैं आर यू हेड बॉय और द कैप्टन ऑफ द स्कूल और द हेड गर्ल ऑफ द स्कूल आर द आर यू सम काइंड ऑफ डायरेक्टर एंड सम सम क्लब्स लाइक डिबेटिंग क्लब ड्रामा क्लब राइट इकोनॉमिक्स क्लब साइंस क्लब कंप्यूटर क्लब डू यू आर यू अ डायरेक्टर और अ प्रेसिडेंट और अ वाइस प्रेसिडेंट रिमेंबर अमेरिकन यूनिवर्सिटीज दे लव लीडरशिप दे वांट टू सी कि आपने क्या-क्या किया है एज अ लीडर लीडर वही होता है जो एक ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स को लीड करता है उन्हें गाइड करता है कि आपने ऐसे करना करता है सिमिलरली आपने कोर्सेरा पे कोई कोर्स किया है कि नहीं आउटसाइड ऑफ योर क्लास 11 एंड 12 आपने अपनी नॉलेज को कैसे बढ़ाया है एडवांस वो आपको भी करना है सैट नाउ अगेन आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव हर्ड अबाउट एन एग्जाम कॉल्ड सैट नाउ सैट का एक एग्जाम है जो कि सभी बच्चों को देना है अगर आपने अमेरिका में पढ़ाई करनी है 
अगर आपने इंग्लैंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया या कैनेडा में जाना है यू रियली नीड नॉट गिव दिस एग्जाम दिस एग्जाम इज ओनली फॉर स्टडिंग इन द यूएस सो वॉट डज सैट है सैट है ओनली मैथमेटिक्स एंड इंग्लिश एज यू कैन सी इट्स एन ईजी टेस्ट अगर आप इट्स अ मल्टीपल चॉइस टेस्ट जनरली स्पीकिंग नाइनटी परसेंट मल्टीपल चॉइस तो ए बी सी डी चॉइस दी जाएगी एंड यू विल पिक अप फ्रॉम दैट एज यू कैन सी मैथ इज क्लास टेंथ लेवल मैथ एंड अ लिल बिट ऑफ क्लास इलेवेंथ सी बी एस सी एंड देन देर इज अ रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग हाँ रीडिंग डेफिनेटली एंड राइटिंग इज मोर डिफिकल्ट दैन मैथ इज दैट मीन जिन्होंने भी सैड देना है उनकी रीडिंग स्पीड अच्छी होनी चाहिए दे शुड हैव अ ग्रेट कॉम्प्रीहेंशन पावर so students who are planning to take the sat the next sat is in later this month september 26 then october 3rd then december 5th then there's one in march and then again in may of next year so please agar aapne sat ki taiyari karni hai you must have very very good vocabulary that means aap roz 10 se 20 naye words english ke seekhenge and that will help you with your your sat Now the question is, कई लोग पूछते हैं सर यूएसए जाए कि कैनेडा जाए कि कहाँ जाए इन दिस वर्कशॉप टूडे वी आर कवरिंग यूएसए और कैनेडा आई एम नॉट कवरिंग इंग्लैंड एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया वी कैन डू दैट क्लियर यूएसए के बारे में मैंने आपको बताया चार हजार यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी कंट्री है ट्वेंटी टू ट्रिलियन डॉलर इकॉनमी है इंडिया की इकॉनमी इज अबाउट थ्री ट्रिलियन डॉलर सो यूएस इज ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट सेवन टाइम्स रिचर दैन इंडिया इज Why consider Canada safe and friendly? Canada is very safe country, friendly है. They welcome international students with open arms. And then Canada has a liberal work policy, so that students who pass out after the grade twelve, they go, they pursue their college studies, and when they finish their college studies, they can work in Canada, and they can even get immigration, depending upon कि आपने कौन सा course किया. and which institution did you do it from so when you go to canada please do not go to colleges go to universities but when you go to the us 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 may college and university jo words hain wo dono interchangeably use hote hain but in canada college means different us and universities mean a different thing so if you go to canada you must go to university and not to a college so what should you as a Prospective student be doing. Now, if you have a mind make up, ho jaye. Yes, mere ko bahar jana hai, and your parents are also supportive. So, hume aage karna kya hai, right? So, we need to prepare, plan, and perform. Get guidance. Very important. This whole journey of applying to the US and finally getting there, you require a good guide, right? You need a mentor. who can really address all your concerns your questions your anxiety right isliye you need to work with counselors like council for american education who understand this who can treat each student individually give them personal attention right so get guidance build your profile jaise maine aapko pehle bola right application and then with our guidance we will help you prepare the application and submit to various universities with students every step as you can see 29 years 22000 students we help you with your mock test we help you with test preparation we will help you with the university research we do everything so students who want again we are based in delhi Obviously, Delhi के students हमारे office भी बहुत बार आ जाते हैं. Although nowadays is everything is online, and I'm presuming most of the students who are present today on this platform and this workshop are from outside of Delhi. However, just the way we are conducting this workshop, that's how we do our counseling session, and that's how we do our preparation classes. I'm sure all of you are nowadays. taking your high school your 11th class 12th classes online just the way we are doing it today so we will help you with everything sat and act ka bahut hi acha hamara program hai preparation karne ka which is almost for about 
50 hours and these 50 hours spread over two months. So every alternate day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, there are classes, expert instructors on Zoom who are going to teach you, right? There is the 35 practice test, batch sizes are small so that you can get personal attention. You get, this is a legacy of 29 years and look at our, our tagline below. We make you work smarter, not harder. That means that means your results will be very good. Right? Hard work definitely is important. But working smart is even more important than working hard. Right? So we help you with that. Look at our top scorers. Yes. SAT 1580, PU Summer 1540. SAT ka exam is out of 1600. Right? Vani Gupta. 36 out of 36 ACT. Natasha, 36 out of 36. Look at some of the students going abroad. Rithik, top schools in the US. Kashvi in, in Canada. Nandika, again, UBC, University of British Columbia. Ananya, University of Waterloo. And many, many, many more. So please bear in mind, these are the success stories. Just a sample or just a few of them. Every year, we send 700 students abroad. Right? We will mm -hmm. be very happy to help you achieve your study abroad dream. Extremely, extremely critical. We are open to the question and answer session. If you want to connect with us, these are the phone numbers on the screen. The email address is also on the screen. If your parents want to talk to us individually, we'll be very happy to help them. Now, we are open to question and answer session. Students are very, very welcome to ask their questions. You can either type on the chat or you can even speak so that everybody else can hear as well. I'm okay to, to either one of the two options. So go ahead, please. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll be very, very happy to, to help you. I see. Let me open the chat questions. Okay, so we have undergraduate courses which can help me get work permit. It all depends. If you are going to Canada, any course can get you a work permit. Even in the US, if you do any course, you can still get any work permit. But US may, the demand is more for STEM programs. S-T-E-M, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. So if you have computer science, ya engineering, ya civil engineering, ya biomedical engineering, ya biochemistry ke liye ja rahe hain, the demand, business analytics, data science, huge demand, right? So definitely you can go for them. Now, please share your meeting ID that you can get with Vikram sir and he'll share with everything. What is internship? Internship means you're working in a company, in an office, while you are in 11th or 12th part-time, just for a few weeks, right? And that is called an internship. Sir, can you please repeat the date for the SAT exam? SAT is on September 26th. SAT ko prepare karne mein kam se kam date se do lagte So, SAT ka exam uske baad October 3rd mein hai, fir December 4th ya 5th ko hai, the first Saturday of December. Uske baad March mein hai, and then May of 2021. So, SAT ki ye dates hai, SAT ki ek site hai, college board. College board we have Jake, Satki dates, we got a date at now, Satki preparation for me to connect with us. We'll help you, right? Uh, what, uh, then, which math book is preferred for Sat? Satki, a bohot sari math book available, and it's not ki which book is preferred. The one that you like, which is of the same level, is the one. So, connect with us. It's not just the book. You need a lot of guidance, a lot of mentorship to prepare for, for the Sat, right? Can you suggest some good university in Ontario, Canada? Ontario may, University of Toronto is there. Then there is, a, there is a University of Western is there. There is a Ryerson University there. There is Wilfred Laurier and University of Wealth. So plenty of universities in Canada, uh, Toronto, right? Uh, what else? I'm currently pursuing BBA. I want to go to Canada. Should I go for PG diploma or masters? I highly recommend 
you go for master's program and not for a PG diploma program. Master's is a proper degree, diploma is still a diploma, right? How do you prepare for SAT? As I mentioned, you are very welcome to join our classes for SAT exam. We have a very, very good online program. Does psychology can be taken as one of the undergrad course which can get work from it? Psychology is a damn good field. It's an extremely interesting field. But psychology, if you have to my recommendation is to go to Canada and not to the US. Because US may sit a bachelor of psychology to buy job in line school. So please look at Canada as a better option, right? We cannot go to any center for SAT preparation. What do you do? Again, I'm repeating. Yes, all centers are closed, including mine, but we are doing it online just the way we are doing this workshop. Sir, is SAT tough than JE? Again, I won't say SAT is more difficult than JE. It's much easier, I believe. But any exam will be difficult if you don't study hard, if you don't work diligently. Otherwise, every exam is an easy exam. Okay? What else? Which is the best university for psychology? Again, as I mentioned to you earlier, there is no best university. It's the best fit. A university might be good for Anthony, might not be good for Anshul, might be good for Sudanshu might not be good for mother. So it all depends, right? So there is no best university is the best fit. Right? So after which um, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, I want to pursue my career in BSc physics uh, in Maxwell University, which is in Quebec, in Canada. Which university? Maxwell University, in Quebec. McGill. Yeah. So I want to know that what are the basic requirements which I need so that I can apply to it. McGill is one of the top universities in Canada. Fantastic. You exactly. need very good grades in your 10th, 11th and 12th. Canada, remember, does not require SAT. Canada is very heavy on grades like India is. So 10th, 11th, 12th, you have grade for a chachi in 90% plus. All right. You have a lot of chance and a lot of there are no guarantees, but this is the basic minimum requirement. Apart from this university, is there any other university in the field of physics? In there Canada? are universities like uh, Western is there, McMaster is there, Waterloo is there, uh, the Louis, British Columbia is there. Plenty of universities, that's not an issue. Oh, right. um, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Sir, uh, if I have to pursue fine arts or painting as my career, which universities would you suggest in the US? Fine arts or painting, there are several very good schools. The good ones are Parsons School of Design, there's the Pratt Institute, there's the Savannah College of Arts and Design. Loads and of sir, what about, sir, what about RISD? RISD is again very, very good, very good school, Rhode Island School of Design, again, all these schools are extremely competitive schools also. RISD is also one of the world's finest. Very difficult to get in though. Uh, uh, sir, uh, can you please drop these names in the chat box? If I will try to type some names in the chat box. Let me see if I can do that, right? Give me a minute. Thank you, sir. If not, you can get in touch with us, right? Yeah, what else? Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Go ahead, please. Sir, after which class sir, I was eligible to apply the form of SAT? After 10th, you can do it. 11th, maybe 12th. People do it in 10th, but it's very low. Currently, I am in 12th, sir. So I can apply it, no? Andy? Currently, I am in class 12th, so I can apply it, no, sir? Yes, beautiful. If you are in 12th, you can do it. Right away. Sir, when is it? Which year? Which year? Which year? Which year? In March, we have. There's a test in... Sorry, there's a test in October. Then there's a test in in December also. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So can you please suggest some uh, universities for international relationships? 
plenty of universities are there for international relations. NYU mm -hmm. is there. There is Georgetown. There's Harvard. But again, these are very big names, very selective, very competitive, very expensive, and very difficult to get scholarships. Again, there are plenty of universities for international relations. My recommendation is let us know separately. We'll sit down with you. We'll guide you which universities will be best for you for international relations, keeping in mind various parameters. Sir, so what is the fee for your SAT classes? What is the? What is the fee for your SAT classes? The fee is 83,500 rupees. We are offering a 15% discount on that on this platform today. So this is for your students, only for the students present uh, in the workshop today. We are offering a 15% discount. So that brings it down to, I think, close to 71, 70, 71 dollars. So my query is, if a child has uh, pass, is in class 12th this year and he, she has to pursue her undergraduate course from Canada, does she have to, what all exams she has to appear? To she, appear? Can, uh, she doesn't need to give the SAT. She can take either one of the two TOEFL or IELTS. Two exams are English proficiency. Ke, TOEFL can IELTS can Okay, thank you. In Delhi. And, yeah. Yeah. And uh, if and while my son he wants to pursue his course in music production, right. uh, he is already into graduation now. He wants to go for post graduation. So, what are his options in Canada? Music production may bohat kam colleges and universities and jahan pe ki proper master's degree ho, right? Agar uh, colleges mein zara option milenge, diploma zada hai, degrees kam hoti hai, music production. So, he will be able to get some good colleges and, and some postgraduate diplomas. But How will I find about them, uh, or with the authentic ones? Uh, very difficult to address on this platform. You'll have to connect me with me individually, and then we can look at it. Right, right, right. So as I asked, a psychology will fetch the work permit for my child who is going to go for the undergraduate course? Okay, undergraduate, when the child Canada mein graduate karke nikle, they are allowed to work for three years. And during okay. those three years, he or she should get the work permit. Generally, mil jata hai. Although psychology may demand from my computer science, so the other demand hai. business studies ki or ki bhi bahut other demand hai. psychology ki bahut kam hai. But fir bhi log psychology ke liye ja rahe hai, aur kahi na kahi job mein aage ja ke mil jayegi. I can't comment ki yes, pakka milegi. We don't know. But there are loads of girls going to, to Canada for psychology as well. And what about BBA? Will she, 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 she should go for BBA in that case? BBA definitely has more demand. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Hello. So, sir. where should we go for a uh, cardiac surgeon in flying universe? So, for, uh, I have to become a cardiac surgeon, sir. So, where should I apply, sir? I would recommend, uh, agar aapne cardiac surgeon banna hai, toh, I would highly recommend remain in India. So people who want to pursue either law or medicine or dentistry, please do not apply abroad. Continue with your studies in India. Do your CLAT exam, do your NEET exam, whatever, right? So continue remaining in India. So what answer, I want to pursue uh, research in psychology. So can you recommend me some universities? And I also want to know about the status of uh, research in psychology. No, psychology for the US and Canada, there are a lot of universities. Again, I can't recommend any one university because I have to look at your grades, I look at your budget, and, so on, and then decide which universities I should recommend. I don't want to recommend something that might not be suitable for you. So, can uh, you I want to pursue your career in theoretical physics. So, which university do you suggest? Again, uh, any question addressed for which university, for which subject, I should not address because that's, that depends upon, again, as I mentioned, so many factors. So I would not say, okay, somebody tells me, okay, which university for business studies or which university computer science. I really can't tell you which ones are good for you. Now, if you want to know generally, yes, for business studies, University of Toronto, University of Western, York, University of British Columbia. For computer science, 
Waterloo, McMaster, McGill, Toronto. So these are the, the, the top ones in the in Canada. But uh, if you go for different field, it all depends upon the grades also, right? Sir, can you sum up? Which degree courses are uh, better for 10 plus 2 commerce students uh, with math? Commerce with math is a great combination. You can go for business analytics, finance, management information systems. Okay, these, these, are these good courses have good opportunities? Hanji? These courses have good co opportunities afterwards? Absolutely fantastic job opportunities, right? Okay, uh, can the student of 10 plus 2 uh, like commerce with math can pursue for computer sciences in Canada after that? Yes, computer, yes, they do. Canada, oh. USO, you know, there are lots of possibilities there. U.S. is much more flexible than Canada is. And U.S. has many, many more universities than Canada is. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hello. Uh, so what are the qualifications needed for being a travel host? Travel host, again, uh, I would recommend, yes, you can go for a diploma also and still you'll be okay. So you finish your class 12, go for a diploma in uh, in Canada, and you should be fine. Okay, right? thank you. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Sir, Hello? can you sum up some universities for computer applications? Again, as I mentioned, the one that I took the names in the US and the in Canada, I've already told you four or five schools, right? You can add University of Calgary, University of Alberta, right? All the University of Victoria, you can add those. However, US, I'm going to refrain from commenting for the simple reason that 1,200 universities offering computer science program, right? So I really don't want to recommend anything till, right? Excuse I, me, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, is, would you, can, can you suggest a university in Windsor, which is in Ontario, Canada? There is a Windsor University. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank so, you. Uh, yeah, so, in, so India is better for medical student or abroad? If you want to do MBBS, please remain in India, give your knee and do your MBBS here. And then later through the US MLE program, you can go to the US. Okay, sir. Thank you. Right. Sir, sir, some you universities to... with good psychology background. Again, as I mentioned, plenty of universities with good psychology program. However, I would refrain from mentioning any particular of them. For the simple reason we don't know anything about you, your grades, your budget, etc., etc. That's very, very critical. So, what Where are the recommended to uh, for computer application students? Again, I mentioned computer applications can be right. We you can look at McGill, you can look at Waterloo, you can look at Simon Fraser, you can look at Korea. So, right. can you please give a message about humanities after uh, pursuing medical or non medical in 10 plus 2? Nee, plus 2 may Joe Pachi humanities may have, obviously they are the ones either going for psychology, political science, international relations. Those fields, yes, you can go for, but I usually recommend people who are from the humanities background. Canada might be a better choice than US is. Uh, hello, sir. What yeah. is the difference of fee structure for diploma and degree courses in Canada? Is there a huge no, difference? Canada, the degree is much more expensive. Right? However, <laughs> however, you can degree courses because diploma is really not of the same level as degree is. coffee lower level kaoga is not worth it. Okay. Thanks. So, so can you please tell me for mythology? And you? Sir, which university is best for mythology? Fortunately, I can't again comment which one will be the good for mythology. So, again, I don't want to address the question which is the best for which field. Because that depends upon individual background. So can you please give me the brief about masters? Masters from Canada? But which masters? Sir, MBA. MBA. Definitely, first thing, you need a good amount of work ex, minimum two years. You need to take an exam called the GMAT and then the TOEFL or the IELTS. And your grades have to be very, very good. There are several universities that offer an MBA, but the good ones are again Western, Toronto, McGill, New York, UBC, and ATC. Okay, sir, thanks. Sir, can you sum up some universities? where we can study Java. 
Sir, can you can you sum up some universities for, for studying java java is one computer language which will yes. be a part of the computer science course right yes sir if i want to pursue my undergrad course in artificial intelligence or machine learning how much prior knowledge or certification do i need to have you need not have any prior knowledge of artificial intelligence or machine learning again that will be taught to you over there in india in cbse or icse those subjects are not covered they understand that even in the us in high school it's not covered so as long as you have math in class 11th and 12th even if you did not have computer science in 11th and 12th you will still be eligible to apply for machine learning and artificial intelligence i'm going to take one more question and then we put an end to it we will be very happy to you know interact individually if students have question one last question sir, right uh, sir apart from sap and toefl exams do you recommend any other you know if you are going to the us you are applying to some top schools like mit stanford berkeley etc i recommend you take sat subject test in math and physics which is a higher level test than sat is and if possible take advanced placement test ap's but again that's an individual counseling thing that requires a lot of preparation a lot of guidance will be there but that's a very very good question right at the end of the, the workshop Sir, if you have to pursue economics, which is better, Canada or America? Uh, economics, both places are very, very good. If you go to economics, make sure your program is STEM certified, S-T-E-M, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. It should be STEM affiliated. You could do econ econometrics. That's perfect. You can do quantitative economics. Wonderful job opportunity in the U.S. <laughs> Remember, U.S. has far better job opportunity than Canada does. Right. Okay. So I you know, at the end of the workshop, I will take more questions personally. You can definitely email them to me. I'll be very happy to address. Thank you, participants. Thank you very much appreciate. Wonderful audience. Really enjoyed interacting with you guys. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Rajesh Arya, and uh, thank you, participants. I hope uh, a lot of your questions were answered in the session. In case you have some more queries and want to. know more about it you can write to us through snapworks or even you can get in touch with them directly they have already shared their numbers so if there is something more do let us know we'll be too happy to help you there thank you so much thanks thank thank you very much vikas thanks everyone thank, thank you thanks, thanks.